हरे कृष्णा हेटिंग द रॉन्ग्स डन टू अस ब्लाइंड्स अस टू द रॉन्ग्स डन बाय अस वी आर ऑल रॉन्ग समाइम्स इन लाइफ समाइम्स पीपल ट्रीट अस अनफेयरली समाइम्स लाइफ इट्स सेल्फ टर्न्स आउट इन सच ए वे दैट वी आर ट्रीटेड अनफेयरली एंड वेन दीज रॉन्ग्स हैपन टू अस इट इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल दैट वी विल फील हर्ट वी विल फील एनरेज वी विल फील मॉर्टिफाइड एंड वी मे स्टार्ट हेटिंग द पीपल हु डू द रॉन्ग्स टू अस एंड वेन वी डू द वेन वी एक्ट इन दिस वे इफ एट ऑल इन रॉन्ग्स हैव हैपन टू अस इफ वी बिकम हेटफुल then we lose our objectivity now we may also do wrongs but we will not notice those wrongs we'll blind ourselves to those wrongs why because we will think that this person did this to me how dare could they have done this to me but uh, what will happen is we will not see what we have done we will be blind to what we have done so for example Duryodhana in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita says that he thinks that I am such a great hero, I am such a great ruler. Let's see, all these kings have come to fight for my sake. Anni chhava shura mad arthe tyakta jivita na na shastra praharna sarve yuddha visharda. So he says he gives a list of all the warriors on his side or the major warriors on his side. and then he says there are many others also all many great souls bab anye ch bahav shura madarthe tyakta jivita they have come to they ready they are ready to lay their lives down for me somehow there is a slip of the tongue by which he says for me they have laid down their life he wants to say that for me they are ready to lay down their life but he goes on the past tense and says for me they have laid down their life which is actually a which is actually a pregnant mistake that means that mistake tells them this is what is going to happen in future now he thinks that i am such a great king that all these kings have come to fight for my but he doesn't understand all the grievous wrongs that he has done he simply thinks the kingdom was mine and by unfairness that kingdom is being stretched away taken away from me and that is a wrong he feels happened to him you know i was the sinosure of all eyes but when the pandavas came the pandavas took away the attention and affection that was meant for me as the uh, heir apparent so in this way he is focusing only on the wrongs that have happened to him yes because his father who happened to be blind so he couldn't uh, he could his father didn't become the king despite being elder and then his son also couldn't become the king that is the wrong that happened to him but this made him so defiant that he could not see any of the wrongs that he himself was doing and in fact when great sages chastised him for how he had disrobe attempted to disrobe draupadi how he had tried to attempt to burn the pandavas alive how he had dispossess them of their kingdom through a rigged gambling match how he had tried to poison bhima but through it all he simply said justifying saying that even if i introspect i don't see any wrong that i have done all that i see is i have done according to my nature what was needed so he does not see any wrong that he has done so yeah and in this way he ends up on the wrong side of history he takes the the wrong cause becomes becomes the main agent of vice and is ultimately uh, caught in the vice of death so if we some wrongs have happened to us yes we have to acknowledge that we are hurt and we may have to do to needful to address those wrongs maybe rectify those wrongs but we shouldn't let those wrongs blind our vision Uh, define us so much so that they bl- that we lose our moral compass we lose our touch with reality and then we start acting in heinous grievous ways simply to get back at the wrongs that have happened to us so even if wrongs have happened to us we don't have to act wrongly especially if we strive to connect with the supreme lord through devotion and not only will he give us the strength to avoid the impulse to hit back at those who have hit us to do wrong in response to those who have wronged us but he will inspire us to move forwards rightly and not only choose the right course of action but also to heal ourselves 
through his devotion and that rising beyond this material world through the healing touch of devotion that is the ultimate cure for all wrongs that is what we should aspire for more than trying to specifically address specific wrongs by getting back at specific people thank you hare krishna